Hi everyone, it's Lawrence Kiermaier from FGIC Kids News. Do you know what's happening this week? It's Jordan's birthday. Happy birthday, Jordan. Last week we talked about how beautiful the trees were and um, how beautiful that God made those trees and the flowers and the beautiful things that we get to look around. Well, today we're going to talk about how God made the fish. Now, the Bible actually talks, we're going to read in Genesis chapter 20, verse 20. But remember, we're talking about God making a wonderful world for us. He did. He sure did. So today we're going to talk about how God made the fish and why he made the fish. You know, it's amazing what God does. It's, it's amazing that God's love for us created us a beautiful, beautiful world with all the things that we could possibly need in it. Isn't it wonderful? I just think that that's beautiful. God created everything with such intentional detail. Now, today we're going to talk about fish and how he planned all of these smart things. Did you know that some things that God made, even the scientists are baffled. They're like, how in the world did these things ever come? How, where in the world did they come from? How did that happen, that this beautiful world, sometimes the, even the scientists, even the really smart people of this world just don't know how God did what he did. I just love God for that. God didn't just create one type of tree. He didn't create just one type of flower, but he created many different types of those things. And he didn't just create one type of fish. Now I'm gonna show you a few fishes and that's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty funny to see. So he made different kinds of fish. So let's read in Genesis way at the beginning. Remember that's where how God created, where he showed us his creation. Genesis chapter one, verses 20 and 21, he says, and God said, let the waters bring forth a Abundantly. Now, what does that mean? That God said to bring forth abundantly that move the creatures that hath life. And he went on to say, and that may fly above the earth. We're going to talk about that in another couple of days. I'm wondering if he's talking about birds in this scripture. It could be. We're going to see. And God created great whales. Now, have you ever been on the ocean? I love the ocean. Have you ever seen a seal? Have you ever seen a dolphin? They are the coolest things ever. But here's a picture of the world. And all of this blue right here, those are the oceans. That's where God has the whales. And God has so many amazing, amazing fish in that. And he has octopuses. He has sharks. He has all of these amazing, amazing type of fish in there. I just, it just amazes me what God did. And each of the variety of fish, it says, is exactly suited to its particular environment. Now I'm going to show you three fish. Look at this fish. He's kind of, kind of weird looking, huh? But I think that's a pretty cool fish. Now here's another one. Now this one, I wouldn't want to meet up in the water. You're not going to actually see him around here. They call it a piranha. That's a pretty big fish, isn't he? But look at his teeth. Not all fish have teeth like that. And I'm, I don't think you need to ever be scared of them because they don't come around here. You would never find them in the U.S. Now look at this one. This is a blowfish. And he starts off real small. And then when he gets scared, he blows up into a big, huge, fat fish. Isn't that funny? Now, I wouldn't want to meet up with him either. Now, these are just three different kinds of fish. These aren't the fit kind of fish that you would try catching in, the, in a small lake because they don't live and they don't live around here. So don't even worry about that, okay? I just don't want you to have to worry about that. So, God created a world that is perfectly balanced. Now, those three fish that I just showed you are actually fish that are from Africa. And those fish aren't one kind of fish that you catch and eat. Not that I know of anyway. But there are fish, and I'm sure that moms and dads, and especially your dads who happen to maybe love to um, 
gold fishing, you find catfish and you find salmon. You find, let's see, what else do you find? You find codfish. I'm not a fisherman, so I really don't know how, what kind of fish, but you could ask your dad and they, they would know exactly what kind of fish. But did you know in Jesus' day, fishing was very important. That was a very important occupation because if you remember right, that's where Jesus found many of his disciples. He found them in the boats, fishing off the, off the, off the waters. And many of Jesus' friends were fishermen. That's right. They made their living by catching fish and selling them in the marketplaces. See how smart God is? God made, he not only made these kind of strange looking fish, but God made fish that we could catch and we could eat. And if your mom and dad like fish, then they go out and they catch fish. Now, I just think that's really cool. When I was a little girl, I remember doing it, but we always threw the fish back because we didn't eat them. But God made their living catching the fish, the, the fishermen. God Jesus even knew where the fish were. Now in John 21 verse 6 it says, And Jesus said unto them, Cast the nets on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. Because they, were, they weren't able to find any fish at that time. And they cast them, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fish. Oh my God. See, God provides whatever we have need of. That to me is the most important thing, that God provides whatever we have need of. I love you all today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you real soon. We'll talk to you real soon. And we'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Hey guys, this is Lucy. And um, so like growing up, my mom always told me that when you are driving, if you drive by a lemonade stand, you should always stop and get a cup of lemonade. You don't give a kid 50 cents, a dollar, whatever it is they're charging. Bless them. And also enjoy lemonade because there's nothing better than freshly squeezed lemonade with a little bit of sugar or the stuff that you buy at the store in the canister, like that country old time, old country time. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. The point is today is lemonade day. Grab a cup of lemonade and enjoy it. Bye. All right, so we have another fun Sunday school song. So I already, I only knew the first verse that I could remember, mm -hmm. but then we just looked up and we found more verses. Yes. So it goes like this. Deep breaths. Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah down? The whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah. Nah, nah. Are you ready for this verse? Gabriel, 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 blow your trump, trump, trumpet. Gabriel, 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 blow your trump, trump, trumpet. Gabriel, 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 blow your trump, trump, trumpet. Gabriel, blow your trumpet. Gabriel, blow your trumpet. Gabriel, blow your trumpet loud. Daniel, 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 in the lie, lie, lions. Daniel, 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 in the lie, lie, lions. Daniel, 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 in the lie, lie, lions. Daniel, in the lions. Daniel, in the lions. Daniel, in the lions. Dan. Woo! Sing that seven times. Bye. Hey guys! Hi! Hi! So I have another challenge for you guys today. It's not gonna work. I shouldn't say that. Sorry. So I'm having Thomas. So who likes chocolate? So I'm gonna pass you a chocolate, and when we say go, your job is to be the first one to open and eat this chocolate. Really? But you cannot use your teeth. You have to use your tiny hands. You took my teeth away. On your mark. Get set. I don't have a hand in my hand. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's impossible to do. 
I think this is easy. I want to see them do it. Oh my god. If I get this open, I'm gonna faint. We could be here all day. All day long. This could be a 30 minute segment. By the time we <laughs> Oops, I dropped that. <laughs> can't use the floor either. Not just your teeth. You can't use the floor. <laughs> this could be a very long segment. Or I can pop it out, but I can't find the tear mark. Let me try to pop it out. Because the tear can is going to be so squished. <laughs> to a duel on this one. Because if we don't get it open, I challenge them to the same duel. I'm just going to tell you that, right? It's not, I'm sorry, it's not going to work. <laughs> I'm so depressed. <laughs> I think that we should at least be able to use having a secret to open it. I was going to use my teeth, but well, she said no I don't teeth. see how you could do there's it with a tear mark on here somewhere, but I Oh, see. really? Yeah, there's a tear mark on me somewhere. Well, I haven't seen the tear mark. I don't know. I tried to help you. There's not a tear mark. Up and no Alright, we we'll give you 15 more seconds and then you can defeat. We're gonna challenge you, Lauren and Abby, to this one. You deserve five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and. Okay, everyone, this challenge is for Lauren and Abby to open up their piece of chocolate from the chocolate. Um. You cannot Hang use on. your teeth, your feet, your elbows, or any of those things. You cannot use the floor, your chair. Do not. Do not. Do not. Only, 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 only your, your tiny hands. hands. Only your tiny hands. On your mark, get set, go. And they're off and running. <laughs> and the tension is on, folks. Oh, gosh. And here they go. Round in the corner is Abby Kai's. Yeah. Oh, nope, she's still. And there's Lauren Kimberly. Oh, really working okay. tirelessly all right, all right. to get that chocolate open. She is swishing that piece of chocolate to pieces. However, she is really working diligently to open it. I, I see a little <laughs> tentation. Did you guys get to open it? I see a little tentation. Ah! <laughs> she uses Reverend Hammer's method. I see the temptation in Abby to use her teeth. Yeah, I am tempted, but we are not going to allow no, my dentist would be claim. very upset with me. Yes, yes, yes. No cheating, ladies. Let's keep up the good work. Mm-hmm. Who gave them this challenge? <laughs> Open that candy. Okay, all right. A little harder than you thought, didn't you? Isn't it, ladies? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the tension rises. Okay. They've got to get to that piece of chocolate. That rich, ooey, gooey piece <laughs> of chocolate that's within that wrapper. I do think that this might be impossible. I do love the focus level of Lauren. <laughs> I know, she's not even talking. She's so intense. Wow. Between the face and the quietness over there. Oh, if you want Lauren to be quiet, give her a hard time. Oh, she has her fingers on the floor now. Three oh, times. I wish they had, like, splits in between these fingers. Yes, that would be nice. But, but it doesn't. Therefore, keep going, ladies. Keep you going. can do this. Lauren's trying to push that candy, squishy candy out of that oh, wrapper. Oh, oh. Did she get it? Nope, not yeah, yet, but she's planning on it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to look much like candy by the time she's done. I'm hot. <laughs> you know what? I might employ her method. <laughs> They're very hard drivers, aren't they? Who knows if they dive up? For their... Okay, you have 15 Woo! more seconds. Come on, come on, come on. How long did you give us? My real hands are sweaty. <laughs> I'm giving you the same amount of time you gave us. I'm giving you three minutes. And we are almost on it. Ready? Two, oh. one, set. Oh. Oh. Good try, ladies. Good try. All right. We deserve this. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, mine's in pretty good shape. Show us your candy, ladies. Show us your candy. <laughs> good job, everyone. Okay.